Shawan. Kahangay nga yha ba shim yow shai ba shim rakakwadash. Double lines to the elves and the apostles. The three months don't rule well. Shawan took 144,000. Excuse me. One third remnant. Me women and children of the whole for the next Shawan. It's the brother Gabar Yas coming back at you in another quick lesson. It's been Pari Hambush and Yasha. I pray it's nice to be able to find it straight to the point. Alright. Signs of the times, man. Just like this article say here. Signs of the times. Pestilence and earthquakes. And not just that, man. Okay. Nation is rising against nation. World War Three is about to go full blown. Okay. So, prophecies is happening, man. Okay. All right. Everything is being revealed. These Edomites are pissed. They mad because <laughs> they finding out that, hey, who the one they ignorantly and fraudulently called JC, and you know who the JC stands for. I'm not going to say that now. I don't even like saying that name. And they finding out that, hey, what the man of the Lord have been saying was right the whole time, man. Okay. And we didn't need Vladimir Putin to tell us who the true prophet is and who the you know, the Messiah is, man, what, you know, what tribe he's from, man, okay, this ain't about a color thing, it's about the bloodline, okay, so, you know, we didn't need him, but, hey, the Lord put the spirit on him to reveal that, why, because, well, it's time for things to be revealed, man, okay, and things are being revealed in these last days, man, like it tells you in, uh, Luke, let's just get it, Let's get it. Luke chapter 8 and verse 17. Excuse me. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. So, hey, everything is coming out in these last days, man. Let's get another one before we jump into this article. <laughs> And these, hey, he's eating my Christians. They big mad. So what? And plus, they burning Bibles and everything. Hey, oh well. <laughs> Truth wasn't for you anyway. So, hey. <laughs> and they finding out, man. And they big mad. <laughs> let them be, hey, let them be mad. Because, hey, what the men of the Lord have been trying to tell them for years. That the, hey, you mock, you laugh at the prophets. You said the men of the Lord were crazy, racist, and all that. Well, it doesn't matter what color the Lord is and all that. Now, all of a sudden, <laughs> now, all of a sudden, when the truth comes out, you big mad. Oh, well, big deal. Get over it. Anyway, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out and the deceit shall be quenched. All the lies are being quenched, man. Okay? Our enemies are found out to be liars. Like it says in Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29. Elder Malcolm brings out that scripture all the time, man. Okay? Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out and eat. No, yeah. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. Verse 28. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. So the truth is being declared, man. So ain't nothing you devils can do, man. You devils have already lost. And y'all next stop is captivity, man. Okay? So burn the Bibles, whatever. Hey, because the Lord ain't dealing with y'all no way. <laughs> it never was. And you finding out. The Lord was never dealing with you, man. Oh, well. Get over it. <laughs> anyway, but let's read this article. This is from prophecynewswatch.com. And it says, signs of the times, pestilence and earthquakes. Not just that, man. Okay? And this is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, which was coined by the elder apostle Tahar. Okay? We are living in an era of endless disasters. Over the past several years, we have been hit with one thing after another. And the pace of events seems to have picked up steam in 2024. Yeah, because we're at the end. Okay? Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that followed. And yeah, of course, things going to pick up steam. Ooh, as a matter of fact, that's spirit. Let's go to Matthew. Matthew chapter 24, and um, 
we'll start in verse 3. We're going to jump down. Okay. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, that shit how shy, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Or what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Whose world? Esau's kingdom, man. And we're at the end of this devil's rulership. Second Israel 6 and 9 says that Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that followed, man. Okay? Let's skip down to verse 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Why? Because the forced implementation of the MOTB must be made mandatory. And we're one step closer to that happening. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. We're in the beginning of sorrows, okay? Let's get down to verse 21. For then shall be great tribulations, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor nor ever shall be. Okay? And that great tribulation is talking about Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7 and Daniel 12 and 1. Verse 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And the days are being shortened for the elect's sake. So things are going to speedily pick up. Let me get another one. I'm going to go back to the article. Habakkuk 2 and 3. <coughs> Excuse me. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. These prophecies are no longer delaying, man. Okay? Everything is rapidly speeding up. And it's picking up pace. It's like it said in the article. Let's go back. <clears throat> Just think of all the things we have seen in recent days. There was a historic attack in Russia. Then the Fransky, Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsed. Then Israel strike on a building right next to Iran's embassies in Damascus threatens to spark a major reg regional war. And what I've learned, okay, I think Iran just got some retaliation. Okay, we'll look into that. He said, less than 24 hours ago, a catastrophic earthquake hits Taiwan, but that is already starting to fade from the news cycle because so much, so much else is happening right now. Yeah, a lot of things going on, man. In this article, I will focus on two things, pestilence and earthquakes. And we just got to read that in Matthew chapter 24. <clears throat> The bird flu plague has already killed millions upon millions of birds all over the planet, but now it has made a major resurgence in the United States. Okay, World War Three. Hold on, Snucky. All right. All right. Let's go. It says, in fact, the largest egg product. Producer in the U.S. is temporarily closing a facility in Texas due to a local outbreak. I did a lesson on that last night. Let's uh, let's skip down because I did a lesson on that last night. It says air prices have already been spiking, and we are being warned that they soon will go up even more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're about to be paying two, three, four, seven dollars, eight dollars, nine dollars, just like was before, man, before the prices went down. So hey, like I said, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Let's get down to let's see. We're still talking about that. I don't want to read all that. Yeah, let's read this. It says, meanwhile, the number of confirmed cases of Dengue's fever in Brazil already exceed 1.5 million. Hmm. So there you go. 
Yep. So there's a lot going on, man. All right. Taiwan was struck by its strongest earthquake in 25 years on Wednesday, which was basically yesterday, when a 7.4 magnitude tremor such struck the island eastern coast, collapsing buildings, killing at least four people, triggering tsunami warnings across the region that were later lifted, CNN uh, reported. All right. So, there's a lot going on, man. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, it says, This is yet another example of how unstable our planet is becoming. Well, that's because Esau is his rulership, man. Job 9.24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, so... Yeah, of course, this place is unstable, man. The whole earth is out of course. Pertaining to uh, Psalms, the 83rd, uh, no, let's just get it. Hold on, let's get it. I'm about to butcher it, so let's get it. All the foundation of the earth is out of course. Psalms 82 and 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. The whole world is covered in darkness. All right. Waxing gross and gross, man. Waxed and gross darkness. Okay. These people are walking blindly to the slaughter, especially two thirds of our people. Okay. All the foundations of the earth are, are out of course. Yeah. Okay. So the whole earth is out of course, man. Let's get another one. We're going to go back. Isaiah 24, verse uh, 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Verse 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Who rules this current world? Esau, even so called white man. Job 9 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So, of course, everything is out of course, man. Okay? This devil is intentionally trying to destroy the whole earth, man. But the Lord Yahweh by Shemi is not going to allow him. Okay? And like we read in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22. And it said, those days should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved. Okay? He knows his time is up, man. So this devil is about to calm down with great wrath. Because he knows that he had but a short time. He knows his time is short. Okay? Let's go back. Excuse me. In recent months, we have seen so much unusual uh, seminic activities all over the globe, but most Americans haven't been too concerned about this because it hasn't really affected us too much. Well, it's about to affect us. It's already affecting them, but they ain't gotten worse yet. But it's going to eventually. Okay? It's going to. Like it says, the prudent foresee the evil and hide themselves, but the simple pass on and are punished. Proverbs 22 and 3. Yeah, of course, these people are going about their day in lives, but it's about to affect Babylon and Great America. The Lord and Yahweh is saving this place for last. But there has been unusual shaking here in the U.S. too. Exactly. For instance, early this year, there was a swarm of more than 270 earthquakes near Rio, Nevada. And wow, there you go. And these earthquakes are going, like I said, it's going to be earthquakes in diverse places. Okay? So I'm not going to read all of this. But as you can see, man, these are the signs of the times, man. Okay? I'll put the rest in the description so you can read it. Hey, these are the signs of the times, man. And it's going to get worse. Let's go to Isaiah 29 and verse 6. It's not the wrong thing. Isaiah 29 and verse 6. And thou shalt be visited of the glory of Shai with thunder and earthquake and great noise 
with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, man. Okay? And that great fire, which is the ICBM nuclear missiles and the laser beam fire from the chariots of the Lord Yahweh Shin Yahushai, that's about to come too. Okay? That great fire, man. That's going to be preserved for the wicked two-third Israelites. Okay? For these heathens and these Edomites, man. Okay? Second Israel chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the sign pass which I have told thee before, and all the signs are pointing to that we're at the end of Esau's kingdom. Okay? This wicked ass kingdom that is ruled by Esau, even the so called white man. We're at the end of his rulership, man. All the signs are pointing towards the end. Okay? <clears throat> verse 2. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and you're seeing that. Okay? Uproars of the people. These people are angry because <laughs> they're finding out that the one they fraudulently and ignorantly called JC it was not a, 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 a Edomite, a so called white man. He was a man of color. Okay? From the tribe of Judah, a dark skinned man. The Bible basically tells you that. Okay? So, <laughs> these people are mad. They mad. People are frustrated. People are angry. So, hey, it is what it is, man. <laughs> anyway, verse 4. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Verse 5, like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is being manifest as we speak. Okay? <clears throat> so you're about to see more pestilence, outbreaks. Okay? We don't know what's going to happen after the eclipse happen. Okay? We have to wait and see, which is a couple of, which is about a, uh, uh, tomorrow's Friday. Well, the day is Friday, basically. Anyway, okay, you got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You got four days, and you know, let's see what happens when that that time comes, man. A lot of things are happening, man. Okay, let's read this. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse forty-nine. I will send place upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with dis destruction and death. Okay, yeah, and these are all coming from the Lord. How about Shem Yahshai? Okay, so we are at the end. Okay, and as we get closer and closer to the end, this devil's gonna come down with great wrath because he know that he had with a short time. Let's get that scripture. Okay, this devil's about to make his moves. Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that he had but a short time. The devils know that their time is just about up, man. So, hey, these devils are going to lose their freaking minds, man. Okay? They already are. <laughs> With this whole Bible burning thing, man. Okay? Burning the Bible. <laughs> hey, the men of the Lord have been telling you this for decades, man. Especially our beloved elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, that the one you called JC wasn't the so called white man. And what you either might say, yeah, color don't matter, man. You know, no, you know, color don't matter. You know, try to make him as a so called Middle Eastern. Okay, you had Israelites in Western Asia, man. And hey, y'all was shy, was a so called black man from the tribe of Judah, man. Point blank, period, man. Okay. Anyway, but nevertheless, man, truth is coming out. A lot of things is happening, man. A lot of things is happening. World War Three is near. We're close at hand, closer than we think. So our salvation is closer than we think. <clears throat> God damn! I'm ready to get the hell out of here too, man, cause. Damn allergies and elements that we got to go through and shit. Anyway. Romans 13 11. 
And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. So our salvation is close in hand, okay? And we ready to get the hell up out of here, man. I'm sick of this place. The food sucks. The air sucks. The water sucks. You can't breathe fresh air. Allergies. All that shit, man. We ready to get in those new bodies. We ain't got to worry about this shit, okay? Because, man, <sighs> We need to get the fuck out of here. This place sucks. I hate it here. <laughs> okay? So with that, I'm going to end the lesson here, man. I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go see how about Shemi Al-Shai. Hashem, Rekak Wadash. Song to the next one. Till next time, Sean Wam. Kwam Yashara and Wild Baba Ball, Sean Wam.